Who is in love with you guys? We're gonna find out. We have three piles today. This is Some Things Are Best Kept Secret, Time Is Money, and Good Morning. Pile one, two, and three. If you guys want a personal with me, all the information's in the description. I would freaking love to read for you. So please hit me up, guys. I love you so much. Check out my Patreon as well. There's so many other pick of cards over there. Uh, let's get to your reading. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your reading pile one. Some Things Are Best Kept Secret. Do you have somebody secretly crushing on you? Is this a big secret? Am I about to expose a secret? I feel like I might be. I feel like this is a secret, guys. Like, I'm not kidding. I don't think you know nearly enough about how much this person likes you. They really enjoy you. They enjoy your personality. They love everything about you. I think you emit a lot of energy. They're, they're feeling like a frequency vibe. Your, your favorite color could be red or they could wear a lot of red. I'm seeing someone in red. Mm-hmm. Okay, you could be a delivery driver or they could be a delivery driver. I'm, I'm trying to see what I see in my mind's eye. Are you, I think this is a secret, guys. I don't think I'm supposed to spill the beans, but I'm going to anyway. Why? Because I love it too. I feel like we should all be nosy. What's wrong with nosy? Nothing. All right, pile one. I've not looked at these yet. Let's take a gander, shall we? Page of Cups. Do I like, oh my God, I said in red, I was, oh, stop. Dude, this person literally wears red. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that. They, that's like their favorite color or something. Guys, this person's totally like in heart with you, okay? God, okay, I swear, I swear on my life, guys, I did not see this. This is what I'm seeing. You are emitting an energy, a frequency, and this person is really into that. Page of Cups, you're very flirty, very fun, very creative. Um, <clears throat> I'm hearing the way that you communicate with this person. They want to know more. It's fun. You're a very fun and flirty person. It's like they, they need to get to know you more. They want to get to know you more. I don't feel you've been with this person before. This is somebody, pile one, that you barely know. Mm -hmm. You barely know them. I'm, I am hearing this could be a delivery driver, like Uber Eats or Pizza Hut. Am I allowed to say that? Not sponsored. Um, but yeah, this is a delivery driver or something, guys. Because <laughs> look how this man is tapping on her shoulder like, hello, hi. You don't know them. Your face is turned the other way. I don't even think you know that you impacted this person like this. They, they definitely are wearing red today. Or you are, I don't know, something with the red. Okay, you might have red lipstick as well. We have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenge. This person finds you very unique. There's something quite different about you. Um, they can't really figure it out, but they're willing to investigate. They're willing to hear more about it. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. They're not quite sure what you're about. Give me more on the judgment here. Positive movement forward, eight of wands. Again, this is, this is the card of communication. You're kind of, you're kind of a lone wolf. You do things on your own. You, you, you dance to the beat of your own drum. Spiritual strength. Yeah, you're totally different than most people there. they've ever been around. Wow, we have hope here. Okay, listen. So you could meet this person. Um, maybe you saw them in a courthouse or I'm getting something about a judgment, a judgment. So it was like, it was involving some sort of paperwork is what I'm getting. There was paperwork involved. Okay. Yes. Maybe it was a realtor. Maybe it was, I don't know. It's something where there's paperwork. There was some sort of like, you had to give a receipt or they had to give a receipt. Something with like money or paper or something. We have hope and spiritual strength. You give this person a lot of hope that they can be unique and um, different too. Like quirky. They can just be themselves around you. They actually really want to get to know a little bit about the spiritual element of things because you know more than they do, for sure, 100%.
you know more about this spiritual stuff than this person does, but they're really eager to get to know more about you. You might, you might actually um, associate with the word star seed. You might think you're a star seed with the star here. Five of wands. Oh, this person. I don't know that they're going to try to shoot their shot because they actually think you have a lot of competition. I'm, I'm hearing that they think you have so many people around you um, wanting your attention, like vying for your attention. They don't know that they have a shot. It's something about the pay grade too. I'm hearing like they make less than you. In their mind, they think they make less money. So they don't know if you would like be interested. What's nine plus eight? Is that 17? Yeah, look at this. You have nine plus eight is 17 here. You could meet them at school. I don't know, I'm getting math. I'm getting some sort of numbers. Crunching numbers, like you guys, it, 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 paperwork, numbers. Something with numbers, okay? Yeah, nine plus eight is 17. That's kind of crazy. The synchronicities are really cool between you two, but again, you do not know them enough. You do not know them, and I don't know that they're gonna want to make themselves known, hence why it's a secret. Because they think you have a lot of partners, or not, not a lot of partners, a lot of potential partners. They don't necessarily know that you want them. We have healthier. You could have met them in the gym too. Maybe this is like the guy who like took your payments at the gym or something. I don't know, but I, I keep seeing receipts. They're, they're in like really good shape. This person's fit and trim and they look, ooh, they look good, okay? I'm not saying that if you're not fit and trim, you don't look good. Okay. This person is actually really into you, like physically, definitely. But they think you have a lot of attention, a lot of prying eyes, a lot of people watching you, and they don't know that they get to be part of that. <laughs> They're like, I don't know. I don't know. They probably never even noticed me. Oh. oh my God, my heart. I like this person a lot, guys. This person's like... Too cool for school. Oh my God, the page of cups on the bottom. You guys, I swear to everything. I swear to everything. I did not look at this, this is not pre-planned. You have the page of cups twice. It's either like, maybe they're a little bit younger than you, but they see you really fun, really flirty. Like the page of cups, he's really, he's like really creative. You could have met this person at school. Pile one, who is in love with pile one? Oh, shit, I was doing this backwards. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Look, this person is not paying attention on anything else. It's like when you come in the room, oh my gosh, they're fixated. We have the page of wands too, so. Didn't I say I saw a legal thing? Justice, I saw something illegal too. Look, okay, oh gosh, I'm screwing this up. This person thinks they're screwing up their chance. Yeah, they're scared they don't have enough confidence to come forward. Some things are best kept secret. Oh, this person is really flirty though. They wanna flirt. The hangman, but they feel stuck, guys. They feel stuck. You have the king of cups and judgment again. You have judgment twice with the king of cups. There's a lot of feelings, but like they don't know how to tell you. Look, two of swords are totally stuck in their head. They don't know. They don't have enough confidence, I think, to come forward for pile one. I hate to say that, guys. Go pick a different pile if this isn't resonating, but I'm not, I'm not getting they're going to come forward. Three of wands. I feel like their back is turned. They're kind of just like waiting for a perfect opportunity, but it's like, yeah, we got the tower. <sighs> if they do make um, a move towards you, it would be forced by the universe. The universe would be doing something to get them to you death see something would have to end for this person to come forward third party maybe you're in a partnership already with somebody else could be could be i am getting though there's a lot of competition this person feels they have a lot of competition a lot of people who want you um i'm also hearing this person got told by somebody in either a mutual circle or at work or at school whatever they got told something about you 
a friend of theirs said something or someone that knows you said something. What is this? Oh, yeah, I just said at work. There's the Eight of Pentacles. If, if you've met this person at work, it's somebody that they work with said something about you. The Hermit and the Devil. Hmm. Oh my God, I literally said it. The Three of Pentacles, maybe you have somebody else or third party, or maybe you, your ex is one of their friends. I don't know, it's something It's something like that, okay? I'm getting Three of Pentacles. Again, it's somebody they work with or they talk to on like a, a daily basis. Um, something about like one of you would have to leave something or someone else. So I'm not sure which one of you it was. Energies are, you know, it could be, it could be reversed. Uh, you might not be in the third party. Maybe it's this person. But yeah, there's something about like they don't have enough confidence to come forward right now. The, the Knight of Cups. Justice, again, you could meet them in a courthouse or they work in a law, legal law firm, something like that. They don't have enough confidence right now, guys. I don't see them coming forward, but I do see them madly in love. Okay, they're madly in love with you. What do they feel? I just heard they feel time is running out. Knight of Swords. They either have to act now or never. Knight of Swords is somebody who does... Guys, with the Seven of Swords and the Lovers. Again, they're being sneaky about how much they care. We got Gemini energy here. Actually, a lot of air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Capricorn, Virgo. They, they're lying about how much they care. Dude, Virgo and Aquarius, very heavy. That could be a, a sign that they... Uh, yeah. The fool and guys are really not sure how to come forward. They feel like they're running out of time. How do they feel about pile one? The fool in reverse. You cannot make it up, guys. Uh, they're not gonna. They're, they're like they're foolish if they don't take the off. If they don't jump and take the leap, but they're foolish if they do. They're yeah. They're stuck, guys. They're stuck. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords. They're stuck. You have the Two of Swords twice. They don't know. I don't think this person's coming for it. I think they're kind of acting cowardly right now. I really do. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. But that is what I'm getting. Okay. They're acting scared right now. And I don't know that they're coming forward, but that is who has feelings. So I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello everyone. Welcome to your reading pile two. Thanks for being here guys. Hi. I hope you're doing amazing today. Happy Valentine's day or Happy Valentine's Day, as I like to call it. We have Time is Money. Show is preaching truth today. Time is money, honey. So who wants to marry you? Shit, that's not what we're doing today. What are we doing? Something about love. Who loves you? Who's in love with you? They probably would want to marry you by association. So let's see. I've not seen any of these cards yet. Let's see. Who is in love with you? Knight of Pentacles. Could this person be any slower? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that rude? I feel like that's rude, but I'm not sorry. Time is money. Like this person is very, okay. So this could be a business person. Somebody like really polished, really poised. Listen, they like to make sure that they have a secure um, time. Um, wait, what is it I heard? Secure return on investment is what I heard. They like to make sure that they have a good return on investment. If they feel that you're not a good return on investment, they will drop you. I mean, it's, that's kind of offensive. The lovers. You got Gemini energy and Earth. Corp I did not mean to say corporate. I meant to say Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but I'm hearing corporate. They're, they're, they work above you in like a different, either a different um, building company that's ahead of your company. They're a supervisor or a supervisor, supervisor, something like that. I'm getting corporate here. There's like a level, a level thing. So I feel like if it's at work, it's somebody that might even be like um, getting paid, getting promoted, something about like uh, the levels at work. You're not on the same level at work is what I'm getting. So they're, they're like getting a promotion or they're getting a raise and you are not. Something like that. It's like there's two different levels, okay? Wow, indecision. Yeah. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. This person is, they will wait. I'm hearing they will wait till forever if they have to. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, they'll wait forever. <laughs> they, they, they seriously wait. I don't know why I'm feeling this so strongly. It's like, I think in the past somebody took their time and money or like, you know, and, and they made bad investments in the past or something. Cause now they're like overdoing it. They're overdoing it in their like, um, this could actually be, they miss out on good opportunities because they wait so long. It's a very, um, guys. I feel like you're afraid to say certain things around this person. I'm going to, I think it's because they either are like your boss, your boss's boss, a supervisor, or like there's some sort of like power dynamic that's a little bit different here. I'm scared of them. I actually feel a little bit afraid of them. Why? I think that they, I mean, they're like a good person, right? But why do I feel like so freaked out? Justice, I told you there's something about like the scales are not balanced here. Well, it's not that they're not balanced. If it's a work thing, it's just that they make more money than you or like they're in like a more powerful position than you. It's something like that. It's, it's, it, I said, I'm so scared of them. Is this like a cop and you're like scared of a cop or a fireman or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Why do I feel scared? Do you have some sort of review with this person? There's something about, like, I don't feel good about this. They really have feelings, though. They feel good about you. The magician. I feel like they even want to, like, get you more help. This person wants to give you more help, okay? But, like, it doesn't... I don't, I don't like it because it's like they wait forever. Seven of Swords. I knew I didn't like the energy. I didn't like it with the Magician and the Seven of Swords. This is this is a very sneaky kind of energy, though. They feel good about you, but you don't feel good about them. I'm going to tell you that right now. Six of Wands. Ooh, child. Something right here. Oh, shit. Honey, I don't know what this is, but... They feel sure about you, but you certainly don't feel sure about them. If this is like a new boss or somebody, like a, a, this is like somebody who is in power. That's what I feel I need to tell you. They're like, they're powerful, whoever this is. They're sure about you, but you sure ain't shit ain't sure about them. Queen of Pentacles. I think it's because there's like, there's like work involved. This is work. This is work life. Okay. Six of Cups. You might have kids. You might have kids. Three swords. Okay, why is this so weird? Okay, so I'm getting, if you have kids, like you think they're not gonna be okay with your kids or something like that, or you guys have talked about kids at one point. Now, not having kids. I'm not getting that. I'm getting, um, you didn't talk about like having children together. What I'm getting at is you might have discussed your children with this person at one time, or they discussed their children with you. There's already kids involved is what I feel I need to tell you. There it is. That is the child for me. Page of Pentacles. It's a page. So there's there's kids involved, okay? Guys, why do I feel like this person is just... I don't know, man. Somebody, somebody right here. We have the Three of Pentacles. They want to build with you. They really want to give you something. They want to give you something. The, I knew it. I knew it. There it is. The emperor. They're in power. This person has control of some sort of situation and they really want to like help you. But um, who's in love with you? Could be an Aries or a Libra or a Gemini. But guys, listen. Okay, this is what I want to tell you. They're in love, but like you don't like it. Okay. No, it doesn't feel good. Um, the emperor is basically what I was feeling, this control. Like, they want to give you something, but it's almost like they want to lord it over your head. So I'd be careful with this, okay? I'd be careful. Who's in love? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This could be the, the father of your children, for sure. You could have kids, and this person has kids with you already. Or they're a dad. This is like a dad or a mom. With the queen of pentacles, this is the mother, and here is the emperor, which is 
father of the bag for me. Mother, father. So you guys definitely have kids or something along those lines. You either share kids together or you've, you've discussed children with this person. That's, I really want to say that for pile two. You've discussed kids with this person. And they're, they're really um, high up at work. Blame. There's like resentment here between you two. The person that loves you, I feel like you already know them. You deal with them like all the time. Maybe every day. Maybe this is like a custody thing. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They want to help you and your well-being. But in dealing with them, you actually feel less inspired. It's ironic because they're offering you something. They really want to work with you on something. But you are... You're over it. There's a lot of pentacles here. Chariot in reverse. Yeah. Why do I feel like this is... God. Why do I feel like this person is not uh, good for you? King of Pentacles. Again, I told you. They're like really high up at work. They want to help you at work. They want to help you get like a job, a business going or something. You know, they want to give you something. Like it's justice, right? It looks like it on the surface. But honey, tell me why it feels like you're doing a deal with the devil. Please tell me why. Okay. I can't figure it out. No. I don't think this is healthy. <laughs> Yeah, four of cups. I think you're like over it. You're rejecting this person. Yeah, the world in reverse tells me there's a cycle ending with you and this person. So I'm definitely getting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also Aries. My heart hurts. Yeah, this person is in Sadville here. They, they need Advil for their Sadville. This person is so devastated that they lost you and maybe the kids. Like you took the kids or something. Um, six of cups. They, they knew you from the past. This person has like a blocked heart chakra. Period. Period. They might be in love with you, but they don't come across very loving. Don't shoot the messenger, guys. Please. This person's heart chakra is completely blocked. Um, it's bad. It, it's real bad. It hurts me. It hurts me as your reader. Like, I feel this loss. They feel so lost without you, is what I'm getting here. Um, they want to help you with money. Because that's all they can really do. They can't help you with love right now, guys. Okay? Wow. Four of Pentacles. Firm foundation. There it is. There it is. That literally is the card of like, here, let me help you get stable. Let me help you. So you don't have hope for this. That's what I'm feeling. Transformation in reverse. They haven't transformed. They haven't changed. So who's in love with you? I feel this is somebody you already share a family with or this emperor, whoever this is. If this is at work, they're like... Ugh, they have like this really, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like this. I thought I would love these today. Guys, I don't like it. Okay. What do they want to offer pile two? Ex uh, accelerated motion, eight of wands. They actually want, they're telling me that they want to give you something that would get you to the top. That's something the devil would say. Hope is still in reverse on the bottom of the deck. I literally shuffled and it's still there. That's what I'm getting. It's like, you do not have hope for this. I, I do not blame you. Accelerated motion, eight of wands. This is like, I can accelerate your motion. I can get you to where you want to go. Wow, we have throat chakra and the eight of cups. I think you've expressed goodbye to this person. Throat chakra, you've told them goodbye. This is definitely somebody you rejected. You said no, period. Pile two, 1000%. Whoever this is that's in love with you, you told them no. Period. You just could not. You cannot. I can't even be around this energy and I'm only in it for 12 minutes. I can't do it. I need to like go bathe myself in every crystal I own. I can't do this. This person's a headache. They're causing me chest palpitations. Um, nope, nope, nope. The answer is no. They love you, but no. I do not think you're going back. I think you've rejected and denied this person. And, uh, yeah, I think that you will feel a lot better if you do. Okay. Please don't shoot the messenger eyes. If it's not your reading, go check out, check out a different pile. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for you. I love you guys so much. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello everyone. Welcome to your reading pile three. Those who chose good morning. Instantly I got that this person loves to cook. I was getting like, they like pancakes. This is the type of person who would totally bring you breakfast in bed, period. This person is so romantic, okay? 
They're very punctual. I, I, I feel like they do a lot in the mornings. So like they might even run or jog or whatever. Like, I don't know. You know, people do that, I think. Um, yeah, totally takes care of themselves. I'm getting like orange juice smoothies and stuff. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a thing. Lemon water. I'm oatmeal. This first is like really healthy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing rise and shine. Also, there's a music note on here, so they could be really into music. Their name could start with an M or an O or M O, like Mo, Monique, M Morty. Those can't be the only names. Start with M O. Oh my God. I think those, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Monica. Most you. Most you? Okay. Uh, good morning. Let's see what we have for you. Okay. This person is such a, a baker or a chef or a cook or something. Okay. They love, love, love food. They're foodie. They're foodie. Absolutely. This is the type of person who would make you just like whatever you, oh my God. Like you won't even have to ask. You don't even have the ass. They just do it. They just like know your favorite foods or something. I don't know how. I have no idea how they know, but they know. You could already be with this person. They could be a Leo. There's a sun card. Or there's a sun here on this. Very positive, optimistic ray of sunshine. You already know them. You're already married to them. You're already dating them, perhaps. But for the rest of you, pile three, if you don't know this person yet, this is the type of person they are. They really want to like leave you little messages and notes and things throughout the day. I feel like this is so the type of person who would make Mickey Mouse pancakes with smiley faces. But it would be like non-GMO organic. I just heard with Canadian maple syrup, eh? I just heard Canadian. So this person could be Canadian. That's cute. I, I literally heard my spirit guy say Canadian, eh? <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Yeah, they might own like a moose or something. Page of Wands, I love it. Guys, they're so fun. This is a very young, lighthearted person. Oh my God, I love them. Heart. They're so romantic too. This person loves to write. I'm hearing a writer because the, the feather in his hat here. Yankee Doodle in the town. Da, 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 da. Yeah, something about this person is like really, really funny. Like, like they say the craziest shit at the craziest time, and you're like, did you, did you really say that? And they're like, yeah, I did. You got a problem with it? You got a problem with it, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think you'll have a problem with it. I think it's cute. Magician. Wow, I thought I saw four minutes forty four seconds, but I really saw three forty four. I will say something that is kind of a little interesting. This person makes you see what they want you to see. They manifest things really easily too. They take great care of themselves. And when someone takes really great care of themselves, they are working with the universe. The universe gives this person amazing abundance, okay? Like really cool serendipitous moments too, but they're funny and it's like, the, oh, there's the freaking sun. You can't make it up guys with the temperance here. Yeah, they work with the universe, okay? This person's totally guided by spirit, 1,000%. Like, um, I was getting something with the magician, though. It's not, like, weird as in creepy weird. It's just weird as in, like, how did you do that? There's an element of surprise with this person. This person's a, ma a magician, and I'm hearing a magician doesn't really, um, doesn't give away all his secrets, I feel like the person that this is, who is in love with you, every single day, you will find something new to be in love with them about. Oh my God, they're so cute, my heart. This is so awesome. Give me more on the temperance. What is this? What is this please, Spirit? 
why do I feel like I need to cleanse my aura right now? I feel like they do that because they work with, they, they could be like really psychic or they work with like uh, astrology. They work with like the planets and shit. I heard Lord Shiva, so they could work with Lord Shiva. I don't know. I like them. They're very metaphysical. Whoever this is, they're into like crystals and sage and like witchcraft or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. But they put a lot of magic into what they do. That's why I saw somebody putting a smiley face in pancakes because they know that like symbols speak to the universe. Emojis, vibrations. This person is totally in alignment with, oh my God, totally in alignment with source. Like 1000%. They, they are the real deal. This, this, oops, I just threw the sun card on the floor. That's embarrassing. This person, oh, like I said, they want you to see what they want you to see. On the days where they're kind of sad, I think they kind of will avoid that. Like avoid telling you that they're super sad because they, like they don't want you to ever be sad. I really like this person. Um, let's find out. I've not looked at any of these cards yet. Let's see. Spirit, tell me. What will be the foundation of this relationship? Because I'm already feeling, pile three, that you guys are basically the only one of the three piles that I know is going to have connection. Like this is, this is you're, you're going to be destined for this connection. Like this is the one I know will actually lead to something. Um, so let me get a question here. What will your relationship be like? That's what I want to know. Seven of Wands. Again, this person will try their best not to harm you. They will kind of, I hate to say this, because this is like the only thing I don't really particularly love. They're not the type of person to burden you with their problems. They'll be the type to help you through your problems, but if you ever found out about theirs, they would feel guilty. They would feel guilty. So when, when the going gets tough, I notice this is the sun right here. I threw it, on the, I threw it on the floor. This person does try to like fake happy. Well, not fake happy. They don't try to fake happy. It's just they only show you when they are happy. When they're sad and depressed, they kind of go into hermit mode and they don't really make themselves readily available. <sighs> Love. See, th this is what I'm getting. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. That's what it says. Exactly. Exactly. They, they want you to see the good in them all the time. It's like the, the sad or the angry or the, you know, the lost and confused. Like they don't want you to see that part. So those are the days that they just would probably not talk to you at all. This might even be the type of person who ghosts you for like days at a time. And then they come back and, and you're like, where the freak have you been? And they're like, oh, I was, you know, I'm, I'm fine. I was just, I went to the lake and I was. That might really irk you. Four of wands. Dude, I feel though this is your soulmate. Possibly twin flame. I don't really care about labels. Whatever, guys. It's whatever. But... Soulmate, Twin Flame, totally getting that. Like I said, this has union written all over it, Four of Wands. This pile is the only pile that I felt this. This is going to come into union in this lifetime. It's destined. Honesty. See, it, it, like I said, it's not a fake happy. They're not a liar. This person is not a liar. Just because the magician came out does not mean that they're a liar. It means that they kind of want people to see what they want them to see. They make people see what they want them to see. Um, so this person does live very honestly. And they will tell you all the time that they have feelings for you. All the time. You'll never doubt it. Never, ever, ever. The only thing I can see you doubting it is when they go MIA for like days at a time. And you're like WTF. We have Gemini and Aquarius. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say Sagittarius. They could be an Aquarius. You're like, what the freak? Where are you going on these like short trips where we don't talk? Or like... They just like leave you on red for days at a time. Guys, like I'm not a big fan of that, okay? But I understand it. Not saying it's healthy, not saying it's great. I'm just saying I understand. Um, they don't want you to ever be concerned with what they're going through, like ever. This person is gonna be 
such an amazing, wow, we have the fool. Um, yeah, they don't want you ever hurt. They don't want you ever to feel burdened at all. The fool is like the lightest, most airy energy, right? They don't want to ever, ever, ever hurt you. This, this person is just, oh, mm, my heart. You guys, I love them so much. We have the world and justice here. So we have Tor Taurus, Libra, Gemini. But I'm hearing they fight for world justice. This is the type of person who will fight to make the world a better place. Because I'm hearing for our future generations. That's the card for me. If, if there were ever a card about generations, it would be the Seven of Pentacles. And that's what I'm feeling. It's like they, 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 know, they know that if they were to ever have incarnation in an, in the next life or whatever if they come back to this shithole they're not going to be extremely pleased so they're doing everything they can in this lifetime to make this world a better place okay they're very fair very honest this person might even be a little bit too brutally honest perhaps that's why they don't tell you when they're sad because if you've made them sad if you're the one that did it they know that that honesty might hurt you Yeah, I don't know if that's super healthy. I don't know. I mean, I'm not I'm not a therapist, but you know, I am getting that they don't they don't want to hurt you. I am hearing this person so strongly say like I never want to hurt you. Like ever 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 freaking ever. Like ever. Okay, let's get some tarot. First, I think there's another message. Let me just get this out. Um Oh, okay. Thank you, spirit. They're showing me how many major arcana there are, a ton, uh, with the justice, five, five so far. Um, and it is telling me that this is your divine counterpart. Yes. Yes. This is the one, the one that you think right now in your head. Yes, that's the one. It's this person. They're madly in love with you. Um, I'm hearing they've been madly in love with you since the beginning of time. Since the big bang, honey. They've been in love with you since then. And that was a while ago. Nobody understands you like this person. I feel like I need to tell you that. Five of cups. Why is this here? Nobody understands you like them and then the five of cups. Oh. Spirit's telling me that no one understood them like you did either. This is why they're sad. So if you guys are in no contact right now, they're extremely disappointed in their behavior. They're also really extremely disappointed that they couldn't see who you were until it was almost too late. It's not too late. It's a divine union. It's gonna, it's fine. It's being handled. Okay. It's being handled by some high vibrational friends. The justice and temperance, I love to see this connection. I do. These two together, it's going to be fine, okay? I feel you guys are manifesting each other. You're manifesting love back in your life with this person. But yeah, yeah, wow, we have the Knight of Cups. They're coming back for sure. But see, the Five of Cups is like somebody is really, really sad. And I think it's because they knew that you were great. They just didn't know what they had till it was gone. Nobody understands them like you. Who loves pile three? Who loves pile three? Who loves pile three? Who? Seven of swords. Guys, I'm telling you. Listen, listen. This fell in the past position, okay? They lied to themselves about how much they wanted you in the past. But now they're getting honest and they're being forced to see that like, you're the one. There is no one else. There is no one else that they can be with. Eight of pentacles. <gasps> 10 of pentacles. Oh, I like to see it. I like to see it. Something about this person wanting to work with you to make money. Work with you to make money, like an empire. Build it together, you two. They're magic. I just keep feeling like they're magical. Um, We have the star card and there's the ace of wands, listen. This person could be a star seed. Um, they are very much magically delicious. <laughs> Hermit, star, okay, listen. They do, they do magic. 
They totally do. They to this person is so about that. They're trying to heal this connection. Th this person really wants you two to be together. They understand so much about metaphysics. Like this person, they understand like the law of attraction. They understand energy exchange. They understand universal laws like this. Wow, justice, exactly. They understand karma, justice here. You have that twice. Two different decks, guys. But I'm really getting, like, they understand the law of effect, of karma, the law of attraction, the law of everything. Like, they understand. Wow. Um, they lied to you, though. The Seven of Swords lied to you about how happy you made them. There it is, guys. They lied. They thought that they were going to be able to deceive themselves lie to you about how happy you made them and lie to themselves about how happy you made them but they're getting their shit together because spirit is like no 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 you're a liar <laughs> you're lying <laughs> you are in love the lovers just came out guys you are in love oh my heart i love you guys this is divine union absolutely 1000% pile three like this is the one this is the one you're destined to be with this is the one okay and I didn't even notice all oh, this major arcana again we have the star the lovers and justice this is the one one more overall energy please for pile who is in love with pile three I'm hearing you're forever you're forever judgment your forever person, the judgment, which is another major arcana. You can't make this shit up. This is divinely guided by, by source, guys. Temperance, judgment, justice. You can't make it up with the world. You cannot make this up. This is like the one and the only. There is no one else for you and no one else for them. Unbelievable. What do they want to do going forward with my viewer? Queen of Wands. Ace, they want to hand you something. You're the queen of wands here. So you have the magician and then you have the queen of wands. And for the queen of wands, she's the, she's, she's the witch for me in the deck. She's the witch, okay? They see you very witchy. They like your vibes. They like your vibes. They like what you've got going on. They want to offer you something. What is this ace of pentacles? Four of Wands, union, wedding, celebration. Guys, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. This is like your, your, your twin flame. Yeah, this is like the, the whatever. I don't care about labels really so much. I just care about love, All right? So you have four of wands twice. Justice, the fool, the world, the magician, judgment, temperance, the star, justice, the lovers. Yeah, this is the one. That's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.